A line of enforcement can also serve as a line of separation, the fake from the truth. I'm going to be talking about Davido, wannabe baby mama, and the fake world of social media. Most of us, even those of us who have little or no appetite for social media gossip, couldn't help but overhear snippets of a young lady who presented herself as a concerned friend accusing new dad and husband Davido of impregnating her friend. Apparently, this is what social media breeds. Since then, the girls involved have come out to say they were sorry and that they were only joking, essentially a media stunt. The bottom line, though, is that a lot of us are satisfied that Davido says he's taking the matter to the authorities. However, it is troubling that we're, rise, we're raising a generation that are fixated on opportunism and fake news. Against the backdrop of the fact that the government are going after those it feels are hate speech propagators with increased fines and criminal convictions, are we not in danger of shooting ourselves in the foot? Remember the childhood chants, liar, liar, pants on fire? Well, it would seem that our penchant for propagating lies is igniting a flame that will eventually end up setting our pants on fire. We're discrediting the only avenue left to us in an increasingly despotic society of challenging authority and holding them accountable. After all, if some of what we say is made up, then why should anything that catches fire on social media be given any credibility, since it, it could all be classed as fake news, as recently with Emeka's advocacy? A certain United States president knows enough to tout this as his get out of jail or even Trump card. Parents is actually a matter of our nation's survival to inculcate a culture of truthfulness in our children. Teachers, we must uphold truthfulness as a bastion of our institutions. Social media hosts and users have a crucial role to play. We all must report and see that those who knowingly broadcast fake news are sanctioned. There must be strict and consistent punishment for those who would play footloose with the truth. We're talking lame foundations here. Till then, I'm behind anyone who takes fake news propagators to task, as this is one way we can drive home the point that crimes affected in an increasingly fake world of social media have very real consequences. You know, um, okay, this is, this is, we live in the age of, and we've talked about this before mm. in a previous episode, of my truth, their truth, mm. our, truth our truth, that relativism that's going on. Okay. Uh, but however you cut it, the truth is under attack. Uh, we're just seeing, I'm sorry to bring some international perspective to this, the issue in United States mm. where um, a certain, you know, the president of the United States is under attack or facing impeachment mm -hmm. and people are saying to him, oh, I, I was there, I heard this. <laughs> and people are coming after the people who are reporting and saying, no, no, no he's a liar. Mm. He didn't say. So they're trying to discredit the notion of truth. And I think the tools and the institutions that we currently have um, are quite not adequate in addressing the power, the dimensional power of digital. Yeah. Let, let's just face that. The same thing when it appears in, with elections, whether it be in America or Russia or Nigeria, where this concept of fake news, um, um, and it happened, if we, if we take our mind historically, um, six, in, the, in the 16th century, the 14th century, when media got perversive, the printing press and so on and so forth, you know, people started to have rag sheets. Everybody could now print. Okay. The same thing happened. Now it, it became controlled. But now in the age of digital, it is so pervasive that with my phone, I'm, I'm both a publisher and a broadcaster. So I think the, 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 the world needs to face up to the reality and institutions need to face up to the reality that everyone can tell their own story. And that story has a potential not just to go to, because, you know, if I send you a message, if I send a message to Seidu mm -hmm. on Snapchat or WeChat or WhatsApp, <laughs> that he can actually frame that message I send him, screenshot it, and send it mm -hmm. to... That's, to, yeah, that's to, the whole lesson of so, Twitter. So, so, so <laughs> the fact of it is mm -hmm. that the dimension in which information flows and it disseminates creates these bubbles. I, I think we just need to, you know, because there's this thing where people say, or less control. I mean, you hear the mm. government say we had to control social media. I, I don't think they even know how, how, to. how to. No, they can't. Um, mm. You know, even China that's got the tools, because if you don't control your internet, you cannot control social media. Yeah, yeah. We don't control our internet, so how are you going to control? control yeah. um, um, so let's be very careful. We, we, the truth. We can't control our internet, actually. 
Mm. We can, yeah. Then we will not, you will not find banking. You will not be able to get POS. Let's be very clear. The, the way the information flows, it's not, it's not that simple. Mm. And I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at it more from yeah, our I'm, point I'm, of I'm, view, but yeah. I, I, want, I, want, I agree with every, mm. almost everything you said, but there is also another angle that I have been reflecting on, um, which is the increasing trend of populi populism okay. built on nothingness, yes. where our society is increasingly creating megastars, not because they're Five brilliant, of fame. <laughs> not because they have any talent, yeah. not because they have any skill, not because of their intellect. They just put cameras on somebody. That's noise making. And you become a celebrity overnight. And everybody, and there's so much reward. The reward for that is enormous. There are a lot of entertainment shows but where you spend but, but time we, doing nothing. Yes, we need an attention. I want, I want to know where she's going yes, with it. But you, you reap enormous benefits for that nothingness. Mm. Whereas there are other like mathematical competitions where it requires you to put a lot of mental effort and energy. You get a mug at the end of the exercise. So. <laughs> What we have more. created a message to our younger generation that value, hard work does not pay. I disagree with that. There's now oh, the, there is there is because a, this there, same, wait, 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 there is a wait, drift wait, no, no, wait, wait, I want her to lie. There is a I, drift I really want to know what she's doing. populism. Yes. And these young girls, I didn't I don't I didn't yeah. follow the story, right. but there is an opportunity that I can just say something. Like I'm blue. You know, I'm blue. But they have blown. Because but let me say this though. <laughs> because Davido took them, you know, arrested them, uh, and now is released that they were them. Blue? Oh, wait, wait, listen. And now release them, uh, and Davido no, no, himself. We know they are. We know what they are. Davido with 20, 30 million followers or what? Mm -hmm. Tweeted pictures of them after their release in the swimming pool, mm -hmm. playing his song, oh, and those crazy. girls now their following has like exploded. Almost a million following. Mm. In. So listen, and they met that we do. This is age of populism, mm. Mm. yeah. And if you say this, that values don't matter, value matters to those who want value to matter to them. The, the truth of the matter is that people push a picture of a different reality that's different from the reality that they're facing. I can live in one flat somewhere and pretend You're that I'm New York. in New York. <laughs> Tie a scarf. The reality is the reality mm. for me as an individual. So what are you saying? Yeah, my point is, I think you're actually, no, no, actually validating point, yes, that's what no, you're saying. Yes, I'm, I'm, validating, I'm validating it to the extent yeah. that this is what we observe. Yeah. But that doesn't negate the fact that even within the reality, even within the life we live now, that people who want to make sense of it still do, still use the same tools. The girls okay, so well, we shouldn't demonize yeah. social media. Oh, yeah, I, said, I don't think right. we should demonize. Yeah. That's my point. Oh, it oh, it I, is I a tool. That. It's yeah. like, a, it's like yeah. a knife. Yeah. Those who want to use it to do good, we'll yeah, use it to, to make do a good, good meal. That's my I point. Think I, social media is, mm -hmm. is such a powerful tool mm -hmm. yeah. that um, we're still kind of like getting around to, you know, how do we go around managing. Like, these girls, I don't think they really set out to cause this kind of... They wanted traction. They wanted attention yeah. to mm -hmm. themselves. They wanted life. Right? And... Uh, it blew out of proportion, mm. right? Um, for government, social media is one tool that we've been able to use to hold them accountable. Yeah, that's my you problem understand? with it's the whole tool. saga. But it, it now flows both ways. Both ways. Mm. Because people now use that same tool to decimate, yeah. uh, dis, uh, dis, uh, dissipate yes. wrong or false information. Yeah. Yeah. So how do we regulate or how do we you know, control really the thin, space. So that it can still be useful so to us. So what they're saying yeah. is, look, we don't have anything against you expressing yourself, having, you know, that medium to express your ideas or your beliefs and, you but know. But recognize the power of what you have in your but mind. But there, there, there must be consequence yeah. for yeah. every action. And an take. individual that's level. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah. You don't yeah. control the whole thing because one yeah. person yeah. or okay. ten persons. No, sorry, let, 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 if, let, if they misbehave, oh, oh, deal with the individuals who have misbehaved. That's, that's my point. That's my point. Sorry, oh, oh, no. that's no. But to say you want to regulate it, that's where I find it. Wait, please go ahead. Sorry, allow Abegeli to just... For me, I, yeah. I, I, I stand, you know, with Victoria in the sense that we've begun to have a society which says hard work doesn't pay. Yes. You know, and I think we really, so really need to down. step back and start um, reintroducing the values that I would believe our parents gave us. And the thing about it is that how did we as a generation 
um, lose it? How did we lose our values? How do we lose but our every generation okay. loses it. Okay. Yes, <laughs> and gain something. Okay. Yes, it's, it's, it's a trade-off. It's a trade-off. Uh, yeah. But well, is it you and I grew up. Yes. Our parents, I'm sure, they were they were scandalized at some of the things we did in our generation. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So so you know, I mean, when you look at videos or pictures of in the 60s, people wearing those short skirts, I'm sure their own parents were like, were ah, to fear. Yeah. Look at what. <laughs> so every generation loses it or done something. Yeah. Okay. It's a trade-off. Right, we, and we, I think we'll have to carry this one over to the next conversation <laughs> because clearly I still have much to say on this, but let's, let's just pause for breath. Okay, so we've dissected the issues now, and here's where you dissect our advocacies. On the topic closing the borders up, there was lots of discussion there. Up black people, up Africa says, 100% right to shut off borders. It's high time to make Nigeria great again. <laughs> I wonder where that came from. Nigeria is not a dumping ground for other nations. So closing borders will help Nigeria's own industries. Enough is enough. Nigeria first. I, I sounding very much like something we've heard before. <laughs> On whether church is bad for your overall well-being, Anyi Amp says, Nigerians should understand that religion and church is not important. What is needed for a country and people to develop is godliness. Okay? On the advocates in general, uh, Simon Templer, nice name, says, I really love this show. Very honest, sincere, and to the point. Not to mention educative. No sugarcoating and no banter based on religious ethnic bias. Thank you, guys. Always, always watch the show on YouTube from the United States. Thank you, Simon Templer. We'll keep speaking on the topical issues that matter to all of us. Keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocates NG, or on Twitter, and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, please go to www.plustvafrica.com slash The Advocate. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, Obi takes us to school and teaches us that integration and inclusion are not necessarily the same thing. Hmm, I'm keen to find out the distinction. <laughs>